After a roof has been created using the create roof command, roof elements like dormers and skylights can easily be added by placing a window symbol in that roof. This process saves the user the time of creating the dormer from scratch. In order to create a dorm or a skylight, the window symbol must be a 3D symbol, and that symbol must be inserted into a roof object, not just a roof face. To insert an existing window, simply double-click the symbol in the resource browser to activate the insertion tool. Or, if you've used the window tool to set up a window with certain parameters you'd like to use, since plug-in objects cannot be inserted into the roof object, you will need to create a symbol. To do this, Simply select the window and go to Modify, Create Symbol, name the symbol accordingly, click OK, and the window symbol now appears in the resource browser and can be inserted with the insertion tool. Once a window symbol has been made active, Select the desired area on the roof object to create the dormer. After clicking once, the Edit Roof Element dialog box will appear. And as you can see, there are five dormer styles to choose from, and the parameters change depending on which style is selected. For this example, I'll create a gable style dormer. Click OK. And you'll see the dormer has been created. When rendered, the dormer does not have the same texture applied as the rest of the roof object does. To apply a texture to the dormer, select the Render tab in the Object Info palette, change the Part drop-down to Dormer, and then select the desired texture. To create a skylight cutout in your roof object, Follow the same directions as creating a dormer, but from the Edit Roof Element dialog box, select Edit Skylight for the edit mode. Here you can set your desired parameters. But please be aware this process only creates a cutout in the roof and does not include the actual window symbol. To create a full skylight with the window symbol included, we will need to create a 3D only symbol. If you use the window tool to create your window, be sure that all the values, including the special class settings, are set to your liking. Because once your 3D symbol is created, you will no longer have the option to visit this window settings dialog. Click twice to set the window in the drawing, and then switch to a 3D view. By going to View, Standard Views, and then select the view, I'll change the top view. Now with the window selected, go to Modify, Ungroup, select Yes to ungroup high-level objects. Now you'll see that we have eight objects. Then go to Modify, Create Symbol, name the symbol accordingly and then click OK. And now in the resource browser, the symbol shows as a 3D only object. To change an existing hybrid window symbol into a 3D only symbol, select the desired symbol and click and drag into the drawing. We're already in a 3D view so there's no need to change again. With the window selected, go to modify, ungroup, select yes to ungroup high level objects. Now you see this time we have six objects. Then go back to modify, select create symbol, name the symbol accordingly, click OK, and in the resource browser this symbol now appears as a 3D only object as well. Now to insert these symbols into the roof object, we need to go back to a top plan view, double click the 3D symbol to make the insertion tool active, click in the desired area to set the skylight, in the edit roof element dialog box select edit skylight, as you can see do not insert symbol is unchecked because the symbol will be appearing in the roof object. 
And as you can see now, the symbol is actually included in the skylight. Since we have a skylight inserted in the roof object instead of a dormer, we cannot apply a texture from the object info palette. Instead, we'll need to edit the 3D symbol in the resource browser, select to edit 3D component, change to whatever view you're comfortable in so that you can select the desired parts. I'll select the front extrude. Now from the render tab, I have the option to apply whatever texture I'd like. We'll change back to another 3D view and render just to see what effect we have. And when we exit the symbol, the skylight in the roof object is updated as well.